Hey yogis and nogis, my name is Anna. Welcome to Yogana. Today we're gonna to be doing a power flow, really focusing especially on the core, the hips, and then a lot of shoulder mobility. So go ahead and hop onto your mats, grab something comfy to wear, and we'll get started. <music> All right guys, so let's go ahead and get started in recline cobbler's pose today. So we'll bring the bottoms of the feet together, let the knees fall out wide, and then slowly make our way onto our backs. So let the, the knees feel really heavy as the hips naturally open up with gravity. And then just gauge the intensity of this posture, bringing the heels in towards your body for more intensity. Or if it's a little too much, just let the toes inch towards the front of the mat or maybe even fully extend them. This is just gonna really start to get us deep into our hips to begin. We'll bring the hands to the belly and just take a couple grounding breaths to start. So keeping the lips sealed, we'll just inhale through the nose, fill up in the belly. And exhale as the belly deflates out the nose. And evening out the breath, just nos noticing the rise and fall of the belly as you breathe. The sensation as you exhale in the back of your throat with your breath. Last round here. And then we'll just start to come back to that natural effortless breathing pattern and start to begin to close the knees like a book. We'll heel toe the feet out just a little bit wider than hips distance. Let the knees knock together and just take a moment to reset the low back. Good, and then heel toe the feet in. Extend that left leg fully. Bring that right knee in towards the chest and then just grab on with that right hand, finding some circles with the knee. So this is just drawing big or little circles, one direction, getting into that hip socket. And then switching directions. Good. and then we'll just cross the body for a moment. So come back through center, lift the hips up and over to the right. Let the knee fall over to the left, cross the body. Let that foot ground, grab onto that right knee with your left hand, that right arm comes out beside you. Gaze goes over the right shoulder, get deep into that right glute, the right hip. And then come back through center, switch sides, reset the hips, fully extend that right leg, hug that left knee in, grabbing on with your left hand, and then drawing those circles one direction. Switching directions. And then we'll find that twist, lift the hips up and over to the left, let the left knee fall over to the right, grab on with your right hand and let that left arm fully extend beside you. Feeling a nice heavy weight, press into that left knee towards the ground and that left shoulder. Inhale as we bring it back through center. Reset the hips, hug both knees into the chest. Find happy baby, kick the legs up, grab the outsides of the feet, rock and roll side to side. Press the knees into the chest. And then hug the knees back in, roll over onto the right side for a moment as we press ourselves up all the way into all fours. So we'll spin the legs behind us, come to tabletop. 
Good, and then extend that left foot behind us. Plant the toes and cross that foot over the right foot behind you, pressing it off of the mat. Gaze goes over the right shoulder. Good, and then we're gonna find a variation of bird dog. So bring that left knee back in, shake out the hips, and then we're gonna find cactus arm with that right arm and then find cactus leg with that left leg. So bend in 90 degrees and then exhale, bring the elbow in towards the center to meet the knee. Inhale, swing that left leg, right arm out beside you. Exhale, bring it in. Inhale, extend, lift a hair higher. Exhale, bring it in. Last time really strong, inhale, open up. Exhale, bring it in. Good, and then release. Find tabletop, shake it out. Switch sides. Kick that right foot behind you, tuck the toes, reset the hands, maybe underneath the shoulders, and then kick that right foot behind the left off of the mat. Gaze goes over the left shoulder. Good, and then come back through center. Find that bird dog variation, extending that left elbow out beside you. Find cactus arm, and then find that fire hydrant with your right knee. Exhale, bring it in towards the center. Inhale, open up side to side. Exhale, bring it in. Inhale, lift and open. Exhale, bring it in. Inhale, open. Last time, exhale, bring it in. And then lower everything back down. Come all the way down onto the belly. And then we're just gonna extend that right arm out beside us. Press that left hand just underneath the left shoulder and then roll onto the right side. Kick that left foot behind you. And we're gonna move side to side. So come back through center, switch sides, extend that left arm, press into the right palm. Roll onto the left side, kick that right foot behind you. Come back through center, switch sides. Right arm extends out beside you. Left arm presses into the mat. Left foot kicks behind you. Come back through center one more time each side. Kick that right foot behind you. Feel that deep opening in the shoulder. Right arm extends, left foot kicks back. And then right or left arm extends, right foot kicks back. Good, come back through center, press all the way back into child's pose. Big toes come together, knees can be wide or together. We'll sink the hips over the heels. Good, from here, we'll bend into the elbows, press the palms together. Let the wrist rest on the back of the neck and walk the elbows a little bit further forward, deep into the shoulders. Good, fully extend the arms. Come back onto the belly. So fully extend the legs. Find cobra here, so press into the palms just underneath the shoulders, lift the heart, let the shoulders roll back. And lower down onto the right cheek. Inhale, fly the arms back, lift the heart. Exhale, lower everything back down. And then inhale, lift the heart. Shoulders roll back, maybe lift the feet this time. Good, fly the arms back in front, lower down the feet, come to all fours, and then move onto the forearms. So interlace the hands here. Keep those hips lifted over the knees. We're gonna kick that right leg and just pulse for about five, four, three, 
two, one. Keep it lifted and then press into the palms, moving into a kneeling side plank. So kick that right foot all the way behind you. Turn those left toes to face the left side of the mat. Inhale that right arm high and then kick that right leg high, bending in the knee, reaching back, grabbing onto the right foot. So almost find a little back bend. Press those hips forward. And then only if you have that hip mobility, we're gonna move into a low runner's lunge with that right foot. So fully extend, maybe keep grabbing onto the toe, bring it all the way forward, turn those left toes to face to the back of the mat, press the hips forward, bend into that right knee, and then grab opposite elbows behind you. Open up in the heart, drop the hips low. Release the hands, interlace the hands behind you, press the knuckles away, shoulders roll back, heart opens up. Press the hips back, keep the hands where they are, and then fully extend that right leg. Heart melts over the right knee. Bring it forward, low lunge, keep those hands right where they are. Last time, press it back, half split. Good, bring it forward, low lunge, release the hands, frame that front foot, and then turn those left toes to face the right side of the mat. We're gonna press into that right knee. So press the hips forward and back, just pulsating here a couple times. Good. And then we're gonna fly towards the back side of the mat. So lower down that left hand behind you, extend that right leg, Find that kneeling side plank on the opposite side, and then bring yourself up as we inhale. Interlace the hands behind the head, and then get into the side body. So drop that right elbow down the right leg. Inhale back up. Exhale, drop the right elbow. Inhale back up. Exhale, drop it down. Inhale back up. Last time, exhale, drop. Inhale back up and then release that left hand. Right hand goes to meet it. We'll come back to tabletop. Lift the hips high, so tuck the toes. Lift the hips, find down dog. Good, pedal out the dog, warm up the hamstrings. Good, and then we'll drop down the knees. Drop down the forearms and find that pulse on the opposite side. So kick that left heel high, pulse for about five, four, three, two, one. And then press up into the palms, turn those right toes off of the mat, kick that left foot behind you, find side plank on this side, lift that left arm, Lift and hover that left leg, bend in the knee, reach back, grab onto the left foot. Press those hips forward, shoulders roll back. Good, and then we'll move into a low runner's lunge. So if you wanna release the foot, you're welcome to. Otherwise, grab onto the foot, bring it all the way through. Plant it between both hands, turn those right toes to face the front. And then we'll inhale, arms high. Exhale, grab opposite elbows. Open up in the heart. Press those hips low. Release and interlace the hands behind you. Press the knuckles away. Roll the shoulders back. Exhale, press it back. Half split. Straighten through that left leg. Inhale, bring it forward. Exhale, press it back. Bring it forward. Last time, press it back. And then low runner's lunge, press the hips forward, release the hands. Press the palms into that left knee. Turn those right toes off of the mat towards the left side. Pulsate here, so bring the hips up and back. 
a couple of times, get deep into that hip. And then we'll windmill the arms all the way back to the front of the mat, lower down that right hand, extend the left leg. And then inhale, interlace the hands behind the head. Exhale, drop that left elbow down. Inhale, back up. Exhale, drop. Inhale, back up. Exhale, drop. Back up. Last time, drop it down. Inhale, back up. Lower down that right hand. Windmill that left hand in front. Find all fours, shake out the hips, tuck the toes. Find down dog. Good, from here we'll tippy toe up to meet the front of our mat or our hands. Exhale as you land, find forward fold. Hang out here. Release the head, grab opposite elbows. Fully leaning into this inversion, soften the knees so they're not overextended here. Just enjoying a moment of inversion. Releasing the elbows, slowly ragdoll yourself up one vertebrae at a time. Roll the shoulders back, move through a flow. Inhale, arms high. Exhale, dive it down, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step or float back, find a high plank. Lower down, let those shoulders roll forward. Lower down, chaturanga or knees, chest, chin. Inhale, find cobra or up dog. Exhale, tuck the toes, lift the hips, down dog. Good, inhale, kick that right heel high, three-legged dog. Exhale, bring it up to meet the right elbow. Find elevators. Drop that right knee to meet the right wrist. Inhale, back up to meet the elbow. Exhale, drop. Inhale, back up. Last time, drop. Inhale, back up. Exhale, kick it back. Three-legged dog. Exhale, bring it all the way up and through. Find high lunge. Fly the arms up overhead. Exhale, Superman pose. Melt that heart over the right knee. Reach forward or fly the arms back. Good, find one-legged mountain pose. So we'll ground through that right foot. Bring that left knee in. Exhale, warrior three. Kick that left leg behind you. Fly the arms back. Inhale, one-legged mountain pose. Bring that left knee in. Exhale, find Shiva squat. Bend that left knee behind the right. Drop the hips low. Maybe arms come up overhead. Inhale, bring it back up. Exhale, fly it back, warrior three. And then softly ground that left foot. Take the arms all the way up overhead. Open up, warrior two. Drop that left heel, 45 degrees. Inhale, peaceful warrior. Left hand goes down the back leg. Right arm reaches back. Inhale, bring yourself back up. Exhale, straighten through that front leg. Arms come all the way up overhead to meet. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, fly the arms high, straighten through that front leg. Exhale, drop it down. Inhale, last time, arms come up. Exhale, windmill the hands, frame that front foot, move through a flow. Press that right foot back to meet the left. We'll meet in down dog. Tuck the toes, lift the hips. Good. And then exhale, we'll kick that left heel high. Bring it forward, meeting that left elbow. Drop it down, meet the wrist. Inhale, bring it back up. Exhale, drop it. Inhale, back up. Last time, drop. Inhale, kick it back. Three-legged dog. Exhale, bring it all the way up and through. Take the arms all the way overhead. 
reach forward, find Superman, fly that heart in front of that left knee, or maybe fly the arms back. Feel the burn in the obliques. Good. And then we'll find that one-legged mountain pose, grounding through that left foot, bring that right knee in, extend that right leg, warrior three, rotate that right hip in, heart opens up, inhale, one-legged mountain pose, exhale, Shiva squat, take that right knee behind the left, drop the hips, maybe arms fly high, out beside you, wherever it feels right. And then one-legged mountain pose. Exhale, kick it back, warrior three. Softly land in a high lunge. Drop those toes, inhale the arms high. Exhale, warrior two. Drop that right heel, drop the shoulders. Peaceful warrior, right hand goes down the back leg. Drop the hips, press that left knee open. Inhale, bring it up, warrior two. Arms come up overhead, straighten through that front leg. Exhale, drop it down, warrior two. Inhale, arms up, straighten through the front leg. Exhale, drop it. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, last time, drop it low. And fly the arms, frame that front foot. Meet and down dog. If you wanna move through that flow or skip it, it's totally up to you. Good. We'll kick that right heel high. Exhale, bring it up to meet that right elbow and then plant it on the outside of that right hand. We'll drop the left knee, untuck the toes, find lizard pose or wide-legged lunge. So stay right here up on the palms if that feels right or lower down to the forearms, checking in with that right knee, making sure it's in line with the right toes. So if the knee wants to open up, but the, the foot is flat, go ahead and start to bring the knee in or roll open both the knee and the foot. So we really wanna protect that knee. Good, we'll bring that knee back in. Start to make our way up onto the palms if you're not already there. And then we'll find a little twist. So press into that right knee with your right hand. Look over the right shoulder. Find a little twist. Drop that left hand. Tuck the back toes, lift the knee. Kick that right heel back. Open up, find scorpion dog, stack the hips, or maybe kick that foot all the way behind you, find wild thing. Flip the dog if you found wild thing and find your way back into a four-legged down dog. Kick that left heel high. Exhale as you bring it all the way up to meet the left elbow. Plant it on the outside of both feet or both hands. And then drop that right knee, untuck the toes, stay up on the palms, maybe even the fist, or lower down to the forearms. Protect that knee if it wants to open up. Open up the foot with it, or keep it in line. Bring that knee in close. Good, start to make your way back up if you're not already there. And then find that twist, ground through the right hand, press into the left knee, roll open that foot, gaze goes over the left shoulder. Lower down that hand, tuck the back toes, lift the knee, kick that left heel high, Find any counter pose here, stack the hips. Maybe just start to go in the direction of wild thing or if you feel balanced on that right hand, start to open up, land softly on that left foot, ground through that right hand, that right foot. As 
you press the hips high. And then start to flip the dog. If you found a wild thing, find four-legged down dog and then pigeon pose. Kick that right heel high. Exhale, bring it up to meet the right wrist. Right knee, right wrist, meet each other. Untuck the left toes, drop the knee. Kick that left knee further back if you wanna get deeper into the hip or bring that, that right, um, the right toes up to meet the left wrist. Or just stay right wherever you landed and then make your way down onto the forearms only if that's accessible or stay up on the palms. Just gauge your intensity to your practice. Nobody else's. Wherever you land, just notice the shoulders, see if there's any tension there and if you can release a little bit with your breath. Let them fall down the spine. And start to make your way back up. Press into the palms, tuck the left toes, lift the knee, and then find four-legged down dog. Moving into the opposite side, we'll kick that left heel high. Exhale as we bring the knee all the way up to meet the left wrist. Drop the right knee, untuck the toes. Set up for this side, maybe scoot that right knee back or the left toes up towards the right wrist. And once you find a position where that left glute can be relaxed, we'll start to make our way down on this side, dropping the shoulders, relaxing the elbows, maybe taking them out wider. And when you feel balance on this side, we'll start to press ourselves back up, tuck the right toes, lift up the knee, and find four-legged down dog. Good, drop the knees here. Come into a kneeling posture. And then move into camel pose. So from here, we'll lift the hips off of the heels. We'll take our hands behind us like we're putting them in back pockets. So roll the shoulders open, elbows come together. And then we'll just take it one at a time to start. So start to lean back, press the hips forward. Make sure those knees are nice and wide, about hips distance wide. And then as you press the hips forward, we'll start to reach back, grab onto that right heel, and then reach back over the head with that left hand, press the hips forward, heart opens up. And slowly bring ourselves up with that left hand. Release that right foot, or that right hand with the right foot. Roll the shoulders back. Set ourselves up for the other side. So we'll start to press the hips forward again. Roll the shoulders back. Reach back with the left hand. Grab onto the foot. And then fly that right arm back. Press the hips forward. Release the head as much as you can. And start to bring yourself up. Good, only if you feel comfortable with trying both sides, we'll start to press into that camel with both hands. So again, just pressing the hips forward, heart starts to reach back, and then we'll just take it down one hand at a time Grabbing onto the heels, pressing the hips forward, rolling the shoulders down the spine. The neck falls behind you. We'll slowly release the way we came into it. Hands go back to the back pockets. Start to drop the hips, find child's pose. Big toes come together, knees can be wide or together. We'll reach it forward with the arms, melt the heart. Breathe into the low back. And 
and then start to walk the hands in. Spin the legs out in front of us. And then find boat pose. So go ahead and start to lean back towards the mat. Start to lift up the heels, extend the arms, maybe straighten through the legs or keep them slightly bent. We'll interlace the hands and then just start to row the boat. So taking the hands side to side a couple times, keeping those hips level, hips in line, and the core activated. Good. We'll bring it back through center, extend the arms, soften through the knees, and then cross the ankles, find pendant pose. So if you have two blocks, this might really come in handy here, um, just placing them just underneath the sits bones. If not, we're just gonna see what we got without them. So go ahead and press into the palms. They're gonna go just right outside of the hips, the glutes, and then start to lift the um, glutes off of the mat. And then option here to start to lift the feet. So just hovering here. Maybe just lifting the hips, maybe lifting the feet and we'll release. Good, try that one more time. So again, those blocks can really come in handy to lift the ground up. But if not, we'll just see what kind of core strength we got going on, lifting the, the glutes, pressing into the palms, maybe even just for a second, lifting the feet and then dropping everything back down rolling out the shoulders, good. And then making your way down. So we'll activate that core one last time. Scoot your way up towards the front of the mat, plant the feet, extend the arms, and then start to make your way down. Fine morning stretch, reach the arms all the way overhead, point the toes, and then find bridge pose. Arms are gonna come down beside you. We'll plant the feet, bend in the knees, bring the, the heels in towards the glutes. And then keep those knees in line with the hips. We'll take the hands down beside us, start to lift the hips high. Keep those knees in track. Press into the palms beside us, or if you wanna naturally lift the hips a little bit more, Tuck the shoulders, interlace the hands underneath the low back. Stay here or find a little bit more core activation, kicking that right foot high, fully extending the leg, keeping those hips in line, and then releasing, switching sides. Kick that left heel high, keep those hips lifted, feel the shake, and then lower down. Good, release the fingers without flinging them, untuck the shoulders and slowly roll yourself back down. Hug the knees into the chest. Find a gentle massage of the spine, rolling back and forth. And then bridge pose round two, or if wheel pose is part of your practice, you're welcome to go there. Otherwise, we'll just press into the bottoms of the feet. Again, bringing them in towards the glutes, lifting the hips high. And then releasing last time. Good, we'll come into a reclined C shape before we finish off with Shavasana. So taking those arms again overhead, deep morning stretch, point the toes, walk the ankles over to the bottom left corner. The wrists are gonna follow to the top left corner, grab onto the right wrist with your left fingertips, pull yourself over and then keep the feet side by side or cross that right ankle over the left. Keep that right sits bone, the right shoulder grounded so you feel that stretch in the space in between.
Good, uncross the ankles if you cross them, release the hands, take them all the way back through center, and then walk over to the bottom right corner. Grab onto the left wrist, pull yourself over, maybe cross that left ankle over the right, or keep those heels side by side, grounding through the left side body. And then releasing, uncrossing the ankles. Take it back through center. We'll take the deepest inhale you've taken all day. We'll inhale deep, hug the knees into the chest. Exhale, fully extend, find Shavasana. Take the arms out beside you. Toes roll open. Maybe support the low back by placing something underneath the knees, either a bolster, a blanket, or a couple blocks. Roll the shoulders open, palms face the ceiling. Open and close the jaw, release muscles in the face. Raise lower eyebrows. And just be. Namaste. If you enjoyed this video and feel great, please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss the next flow.